Yes. So let us begin by approving today's agenda. The relevant document is before us. May I consider that it is approved by the conference? Yes. So it is then so agreed. Let us now move uh, to, the to the session opening the negotiations. On the EU side, I will start by providing the opening statement on behalf of the EU. I will then give the floor to Commissioner Varelli for his opening remarks. On behalf of the European Union, I am delighted to welcome here today the distinguished representatives of the Republic of Moldova. Hereafter, Moldova. To the opening of the accession negotiations of your country with the European Union. This is a historic moment for us all, which marks a milestone in our relationship. We recall that the European Council of June 2022 recognized your European perspective, stated that the future of Moldova and its citizens lines within the European Union and decided to grant your candidate statute. Moldova was already then a close partner of the European Union. Since 2009, Moldova has been part of the Eastern Partnership, the association agreement, which also includes the far-reaching, deep and comprehensive free trade area entered into force in 2016 and was provisionally applied since 2014. It is the basis for our extensive cooperation in a broad range of areas. Moldova continues to implement its obligations under the association agreement, and our political and economic dialogue has been developing notably within the association agreement bodies. The EU reiterates its resolute condemnations of Russia's unjustified and unprovoked war of aggression against Ukraine. The EU also acknowledges Moldova's strong condemnation of Euro, uh, Russia's war of aggression from the outset and its support to the perspective to the respective EU statements in the international fora. Furthermore, the EU expresses sincere appreciation, uh, appreciation for Moldova's efforts in welcoming and hosting people fleeing from Russia's war of aggression. At the same time, the EU acknowledges the continuous disinformation and destabilizing actions perpetrated by Russia against Moldova. We will continue to provide all relevant support to Moldova in addressing the challenges at, uh, it faces uh, as a consequence of Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine and to strengthen the country's resilience, security and stability in the face of Russia's hybrid actions. Building on the Commission's enlargement package of 8 November 2023 and the Council conclusions on enlargement of 12 December 2023, the European Council decided in its conclusions of 14 15 December 2023 to open accession negotiations with Moldova. This decision of the European Council is an important step in Moldova's relation with the EU. Moreover, it is a clear demonstration of the EU's unequivocal support to the EU membership perspective of Moldova. Your country is part of Europe, European history, heritage and culture. We look forward the further to further intensifying our already well-established ties. The enlargement process is a geostrategic investment in peace, security, stability and prosperity. It is a driver for improving the economic and social conditions 
of our citizens, reducing disparities between countries, and must foster the values on which the Union is founded. Looking ahead to the prospect of a further enlarged Union, both future, future member states and the EU need to be ready at the time of accession. Work on both tracks should advance in parallel. As illustrated by today's conference, the Union remains firmly committed to this process. We commend Moldova's clear determination to advance on the EU reform agenda and expect continued political commitment to carry out necessary reforms thoroughly and vigorously. The benefits for both sides of our close relations are evident. The EU is your largest trading partner, with obvious benefits for business and foreign investments. For your citizens, travel to the EU has become easier since visa liberalization entered into force in 2014. The EU has been providing financial and technical support under various financial instrument and instruments and will continue to do so. Since the beginning of Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine, Moldova has been tackling significant challenges. A security and defense partnership has been signed on 21st May this year, and comprehensive support is provided through the EU partnership mission in Moldova. The EU has mobilized 2.2 billion euros since autumn 2021 to help Moldova. Moreover, Moldova participates in a number of EU programs, including EU Customs, Fiscalis, LIFE, EU for Health, Horizon Europe, and Connecting Europe Facility. Organizations and individuals from Moldova can also benefit for certain actions of the Erasmus Plus and European Solidarity Corps program. Moldova also participates in several interregional uh, programs and is a member of the EU macro regional strategy for the Danube region. In addition to this, the EU highlights the importance of pursuing transformative economic reforms, sectoral cooperation such as further energy and transport infrastructure interconnections and Moldova's gradual integration in the EU internal market, whilst safeguarding its integrity on the basis of implementation of the EU-Moldova Association Agreement, including the deep and comprehensive free trade area. Our negotiations are based on Article 49 of the Treaty of the European Union and take into account of all relevant Council and European Council conclusions, in particular those of March uh, 2024, December 2023, June 2022, and those of March 2020, endorsing the revised enlargement methodology the renewed consensus on enlargement agreed by December 26 European Council and the conclusions of the 1993 European Council in Copenhagen. The Council remains firmly committed to taking the enlargement process forward on the basis of agreed principles and conclusions which integrate the revised methodology so that the accession process is more predictable, more credible, more dynamic, and subject to stronger political steering. In line with previous Council conclusions and in the framework of the Copenhagen crit political criteria, the Council reaffirms the need for fair and rigorous conditionality, the principle of own merits and reversibility. The Council stresses 
the importance of ensuring that the EU can maintain and deepen its own development, including its capacity to integrate new members, the impact of enlargement on the main policy areas of the EU will be assessed along the process of accession negotiations. The EU expects Moldova to continue to take ownership and demonstrate the credibility of their commitment and political will through the implementation of necessary reforms and tangible progress on the fundamentals. The active participation of civil society in the reform process remains important to achieving successful long-term implementation. In line with the European Council conclusion of uh, 14 and 15 December 2023 and 21-22 March 2024, the Council approved a general negotiating framework, taking into account the aforementioned conclusion as well as other relevant Council conclusions, the renewed consensus on enlargement and established practice. The negotiating framework which we uh, present to you today takes account of the experience of past enlargement and ongoing accession negotiations as well as the evolving EU acquis and duly reflects Moldova's own merits and specific characteristics. The negotiations are aimed at Moldova integrally uh, adopting the EU acquis and ensuring its full implementation and enforcement. It incorporates to the revised enlargement methodology which provides for an even stronger focus on the fundamental <laughs> reforms in the accession negotiations. Moldova will need therefore to fully embrace and continue to implement reforms in the areas of rule of law and fundamental rights, the strengthening of democratic institutions and public administration reform as well as economic criteria. Particular attention should be given to judicial reform and the fight against corruption as well as the protection and non-discriminatory treatment of persons belonging to minorities. To ensure the irreversibility of progress in these areas and its full and effective implementation, progress will continue to be closely monitored by the Commission, which will report regularly uh, on it uh, to the Council. Furthermore, Safeguarding internal security requires effective law enforcement cooperation with member states' authorities. Given the crucial importance throughout the process of the underlying reforms, progress on the fundamentals cluster will de determine the overall pace of the negotiations. This will allow sufficient time to establish the necessary legislation, institutions, and solid track records of implementation before the negotiations are closed. Screening reports to be prepared by the Commission will provide substantial guidance, including on the tasks to be addressed in the roadmaps to be adopted by the authorities of Moldova. The EU acquis includes inter alia, the objectives and principle on which the Union is founded. As set out in the Treaty on European Union, as a future member state, we expect you to adhere to the values listed in Article 2 in the Treaty on European Union, namely the respect for human dignity, freedom, democracy, equality, the rule of law and respect for human rights, including the rights of persons belonging to minorities. And furthermore, EU accession implies the timely and effective implementation of the entire body of the EU law or EU acquis as it stands at the time of accession. Under the revised enlargement methodology, the development uh, of, suffic of, of sufficient administrative and judicial capacity as part of the fundamentals cluster is key in fulfilling all obligations stemming for membership, from membership. 
good neighborly relations with EU member states and other enlargement partners remains essential. We welcome Moldova's firm and principled stance in condemning Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine. We welcome Moldova's strategic commitment to the, its EU path and the significant increase in its alignment with the EU common foreign and secure policy position and restrictive measures. We encourage Moldova to continue this uh, positive trend towards full alignment in line with respect for these uh, principles of sovereignty and territorial integrity, including for member states. CFSP alignment is a key aspect of the EU integri integration process and a strong expression of a partner's strategic choice and place in a common of value. Let us of also recall the parallel to the accession negotiations the Union and Moldova will continue their civil society dialogue and cultural cooperation with the aim of bringing people closer together and ensuring the support of citizens for uh, this accession process. We expect Moldova to continue to strategically communicate the benefits and obligations of the accession process and the, of EU membership to its own public, including addressing disinformation in accordance with its uh, pro-European strategic choice. It will remain up to the member states to decide whether conditions are right for the conclusion of the negotiations, bearing in mind developments in the EU acquis since the date of the opening of negotiations and Moldova's readiness for membership. The accession negotiations we open today will be rigorous, rigorous and demanding. With that determination and commitment, we are confident in your capacity to bring it to a successful conclusion. We will support you in your efforts and we look forward to welcoming you as a fully-fledged member of the European Union. Prime Minister, before giving the floor to you, let me first invite Commissioner Oliver Varelli to provide additional remarks. Oliver, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, dear Prime Minister, dear Ministers, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the European Commission, I want to first of all welcome you, Prime Minister Dachan, and the uh, Moldovan delegation uh, to this very first Intergovernmental Conference. It is my pleasure to address you today on this very special day. I thank, of course, the Belgian <coughs> Presidency for organizing this intergovernmental conference, leading the work of the Council, including on the adoption of the EU general position and the negotiating framework. Today's accession conference is the first milestone that marks a new chapter in the relations between the European Union and Moldova. The determination of the Moldavian authorities to set clear commitment to the reform path has been key to this success. Our meeting today is a well-deserved recognition of these efforts and the progress your country has achieved. This is especially notable in the face of significant challenges arising from Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine and hybrid actions against Moldova. In these challenging conditions, Moldova has fulfilled the steps to formally open accession negotiations. You are taking forward a broad justice reform to reinforce the independence, accountability, and efficiency of the system. You have strengthened the institutions fighting corruption, and this will help you to build a strong track record and ensure implementation of your de-oligarchization plan. You have reinforced the fight against organized crime, including through your enhanced collaboration with international partners. Moreover, you have kept up the good work on public administration reform and public finance management. 
To achieve full compliance with all membership criteria, Moldova needs to continue reforming and to remain fully committed to this process. We need to use this momentum to further progress on the fundamentals, to complete the judiciary reform, to continue the fight against corruption and organized crime, to further strengthen democratic institutions and the public administration, and to address the economic criteria. The negotiating framework presented today puts a strong emphasis on all fundamental reforms and provides a sound basis for the accession negotiations. The Commission is ready to start the bilateral screening exercise immediately. The first meeting is already scheduled. The exercise will allow to identify major issues to address during the negotiations and areas where preparations need to be intensified. You have already taken important steps in structuring the work of your government for this process. The accession negotiations will require sustained commitment and coordination among all institutions and your entire administration. I want to stress that these efforts should bring results beyond the negotiations. The transformative power of enlargement uh, will, present, will be presented throughout the negotiation process and will be felt before the day of your actual accession. I count on you to ensure an inclusive approach to the entire process, working with stakeholders, the parliamentary opposition, the local authorities, as, a, as well as with the civil society, is essential. It will also be crucial to communicate to the wider public the benefits and opportunities that the accession process creates for all Moldovan citizens. This is especially important ahead of the referendum on EU accession uh, announced for the 20th of October. Let me assure you that we will continue to support Moldova on its EU path, as well as in addressing the numerous challenges that the country is facing. Our economic and investment plan has already mobilized 1.5 billion euros in public and private investments in key sectors. It will remain the financial heart of the Moldova economic growth plan that we are jointly working on now. The Commission's role is also to make sure that the accession process abides by European principles and European standards. Our objective is to ensure that Moldova is well prepared for joining the EU when the time comes. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Varelli. And now the floor goes to the delegation of uh, Moldova, and in particular, uh, Prime Minister Rechan. Prime Minister, please, the floor is yours. Dear Minister Lahbib, uh, dear Commissioner Varelli, distinguished colleagues and esteemed uh, delegates. On behalf of the Republic of Moldova, I am honored to address you today at the first intergovernmental conference between Moldova and European Union. Today marks an important step in our journey towards EU membership. Our country, having diligently completed all the recommendations, is officially commencing accession talks with the EU. I would like to start by expressing my heartfelt gratitude to our teams in Chisinau and Brussels for their tremendous efforts in making this possible. Your hard work and commitment have brought us to this significant milestone. My sincere appreciation extends to the Belgian Presidency, the European Council and the Member States, as well as the Commission and the Parliament. And of course, I want to extend my gratitude to thousands of people from Moldovan institutions that are working tirelessly to make Moldova part of the EU family. The conference today marks the official opening of the negoci negotiations for Moldova's accession to the European Union. It is a historic event for us in historical times for Europe, and it signifies the strong commitment of both sides to European peace, security, stability, and prosperity. On this occasion, I reiterate 
unequivocally that Moldova sees its future within the European Union, and we will spare no efforts to achieve our strategic goal of becoming an EU member. We welcome the negotiating framework proposed by the EU and hereby express consent to its governing principles, substance of negotiations, and the negotiating uh, procedures. We are committed to follow the principles governing the negotiations in good faith, with full understanding that these negotiations will be based on Moldova's own merits. We would not want it in any other way. The European Union was conceived as a project of peace and reconciliation among erstwhile enemies. Concrete steps of integration would make war among its members unthinkable and materially impossible, besides bringing prosperity to the citizens. The European Union has succeeded in all that. It has not experienced warfare since it found, uh, uh, was found 70 years ago. 74 years ago, sorry. The EU's progressive enlargement, and especially the enlargement with 10 European countries from behind the Iron Curtain, has expanded and consolidated that zone of peace and stability. Moldova sees its future EU membership as part of the drive for peace, stability, and prosperity across the European continent that the EU's founders had in mind. In extending and strengthening Europe's zone of peace is especially needed given Russia's war of aggression against Ukraine, which we strongly condemned. Russia war, the resulting tragedy for the Ukrainian people and its threat to European security have shaped a new reality. Accelerating rapprochement with the, uh, with the European Union has become an existential imperative for Moldova to safeguard our country's security and the livelihoods of our citizens. Thus, Moldova's application for EU membership on 3rd of March 2022 was a natural as well as an urgent step for our country. It expressed our conviction that within the EU, Moldova is safer, and that with Moldova as a member state, EU is safer. Just like the EU, Moldova is facing the consequences of Russia's war on our economy and our citizens. Over the past year, our country has been subject to intensified hybrid warfare orchestrated by Moscow in its effort to upend our political life, economic recovery, energy security, social cohesion, and ultimately to derail European integration. Ahead of the two consecutive electoral years, including an upcoming referendum on Moldova's accession to the EU, we anticipate that such disruptive attacks will continue to escalate. Through this information, campaigns, actions meant to instill a sense of fear and insecurity in the society, electoral interference, cyber threats, and the stalking of social unrest. Yet, with the unwavering support and solidarity of our friends, the European Union and its member states, we managed to overcome the initial shock on our citizens' way of life and on our economy. We express deep appreciation for the financial assistance provided, especially during the last few years, of unprecedented challenges. We are now determined to create the conditions for sustained economic growth and societal modernization, to create a more prosperous future for all of us. By becoming an EU member state, we will contribute to a wider shared European area of peace, stability and prosperity. Moldova's general position at this first intergovernmental conference on Moldova's accession to the European Union reflects our strong commitment to adhere to the same principles and values of the Union as set out in the EU treaties and the Charter of Fundamental Rights to progressively align our legislation with the EU acquis and ensure its application, thus becoming by the time of accession an active, reliable and competitive EU member state, assuming all obligations of membership. 
We understand the road to EU membership requires significant effort and dedication and that it involves rigorous negotiations and comprehensive reforms. But it's a journey we undertake with confidence and determination and with a clear vision for our future. That is because we do it first and foremost for ourselves, for our citizens and for our prosperous future at home in Moldova. Our citizens are European and they deserve to enjoy Europe in their own country. We are building European Moldova. We have set up a sound EU integration mechanism with the government charged with the coordinating Moldova's accession effort and we adopted the national plan for the legislative alignment with the EU acquis. Consultations with other stakeholders like the civil society, the private sector, academia and our diaspora living abroad are key to this process. Moldova will progressively adopt and implement the EU legislation as it will be at the time of accession. Moldova aims to achieve domestic readiness to align its legislation with the EU acquis and tend to ensure its efficient implementation by 2030. Prior to, uh, prior to full membership, we are keen to seek accelerated participation in EU policies and programs as soon as we qualify for these. This will bring early benefits for our country, its society and economy, and it will add to the reform momentum. Recognizing the critical importance of speed in the current geopolitical context, Moldova is pursuing an accelerated reform agenda, one that is both ambitious and realistic. The European Union is our main trade partner. The EU-Moldova's accession agreement, include, association agreement, including the deep and comprehensive free trade uh, area, has been a key driver of Moldova's economic progress and of dynamic and growing bilateral trade. In the perspective of accession, we will accelerate the implementation of the agreement and the action plan for the DCFTA. Moldova is already progressively integrating the EU's economic process, taking substantial steps for consolidating its market economy and preparing to become an equally competitive partner on the EU's single market, contributing thus to a stronger European economy. During accession talks, we may request transitional periods for sectors where we are not yet fully prepared for complete harmonization and implementation of the acquis at the time of the EU accession and where immediate compliance could significantly challenge the current state of the economy. In line with the new enlargement methodology, Moldova fully adopts the focus on the fundamentals. We are committed to pursuing the reforms for strengthening the rule of law and fundamental rights, the democratic institutions, and the capacity of our public administration. Since becoming a candidate country, Moldova has made considerable progress to ensure the independence and accountability of the judiciary and to effectively fight corruption. We are grateful that the European Union has recognized our work and efforts to strengthen rule of law with the official opening of negotiations for our country as today's first intergovernmental conference. We are determined to maintain the peace in Moldova's sustainable and substantive reform trajectory. Building a better future for all of our citizens is our main driver. Modernizing Moldova, making our society and economy more resilient to internal and external shocks, preparing it for a more competitive environment as we move closer to the EU is our key priority. Moldova's benefits from Europe's security, but also contributes to it. We look forward to bringing our cooperation to a new level in addressing our shared challenges and expanding and deepening our security and defense dialogue. We are committed to aligning with the EU common foreign and security policy and wish to expand our contribution to the EU common security and defend, defense policy missions, both in number and in geographic coverage. 
Moldova's history and people are deeply intertwined with those of the European Union and its member states. We are part of the European family and its wide cultural and linguistic diversity. Our legislation is one of the EU's official languages. Many of our citizens are also citizens of the EU. Moldova's strong ties with the EU will continue to bring our people together. For 10 years, our citizens have been traveling to the EU without visa, and European citizens are increasingly visiting Moldova. Our vibrant civil society will continue to be actively involved as we advance our EU accession journey. Together, we work hard to prepare for the referendum on the EU accession to be held on 20th of October. Every day we spend talking about the benefits of the European Union, thereby preparing our citizens, companies, regional and local authorities, universities and schools for participation in the EU's policies and programs that are open to us. Let me conclude by saying that Moldova will continue with its progress, ensuring that our democratic institutions are robust, our legal framework is sound, and our economic policies are, are aligned with EU standards and market principles. We look forward to being a dynamic, resilient, and prosperous new member state, contribute, contributing to our collective peace, stability, and growth on the European continent. Thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. In the light, um, in this light, we can note the opening of the negotiations on the accession of Moldova to the European Union, I propose that the conference enter into its minutes, uh, the general positions of the parties uh, to the conference uh, annexed to the Union's position in DOC ED 11-24, uh, CONF MD 2, are the working arrangements of the conference. This is then also noted.